Uncle Tim's. It's all good. All right, these are the replacement brackets that I had made and they attach to the trailer frame and that's what the base plate is gonna sit on and I'm just cleaning up the holes so that the U-bolts will go through. This saw is amazing. So these are the cross pieces that are gonna go in the frame that I built in the previous video. You can see right here. These are just to help sturdy it up. I'm getting the brackets bolted on here. This is what I, that frame is going to be welded to these brackets and it's going to hold the whole base plate. So I'm just getting those placed on here and then in a little bit I will get the base put on there and get it all leveled up and welded together. Now that I've got all the brackets in their rough location, I can go ahead and attach this frame.
to make sure I get this frame level, I'm going to level the trailer first and then I can level that frame. And it's doesn't really look level in this in the video here. Kind of it's I guess it's the perspective, but it really is level. I've got this front right corner tacked in place and I'm going to go ahead and level and square everything else off of that. Okay, now this front right corner is welded in place and I've got the other four corners tacked and I'm just doing a last minute check to make sure it's level. Everything's still level so I'm going to go ahead and weld it all up. got this frame welded on here 
and you can see it's level front to back and it's level side to side pretty level side to side and the trailer I made sure the trailer itself was level before I did this <clears throat> and now I can mount that big plate of steel over there onto it and then this is the base that the pivot point is going to attach to and then that will weld on top of that so it's starting to come together I'll probably pull this off of here and slap some paint on it and it before I weld weld that big plate on it anyhow we're moving along and making progress All right, it's time to tighten everything down. I just want to make sure I'm dead center in this trailer. So I'm making several measurements to ensure that, and then I will go ahead and tighten it down. So I just realized I wanted to put the primed side down. So now I gotta flip this booger over and it is heavy. Ooh. I gotta figure out where to place my hand so I don't smash my fingers when I lay this thing down. That looks pretty good. Well, that's how that's going to go somewhere right in there I'm not sure how if I'll mount it a little farther back and then run some sort of a brace from here down to here just to give it some extra support and then the pivot point will be right up here and then the boom will pivot off the top of that and then the hydraulic cylinder bottom end will mount right around in here somewhere and then wherever it lines up on the boom itself but i think that's the next step is to get this plate welded on here all right that's it for this episode keep an eye out for the next one thanks see you later bye